What is trigonometric substitution? It's a method used to evaluate integral that contains square root. And we have three different cases. First one, the form radical a squared minus x squared. We substitute x equal to a sine theta. Second case, radical x squared minus a squared. Substitute x equal a secant theta. And the third case, radical x squared plus a squared. Substitute x equal to a tangent theta. Let's take an example. Integral for radical 9 minus x squared over x squared dx. So which form or which case is it? Look at it. We have here radical 9 is equal to 3 squared minus x squared. So it's of the form radical a squared minus x squared, where a is equal to 3. So it's in the first case. We should take x equal to a sine theta. So x equal to a sine theta and a is equal to 3, so equal to 3 sine theta. Now we need to find dx and x squared and substitute it in this integral. So dx derive both sides is equal to 3, derivative of sine, cosine theta, d theta, and x squared equal to 9 sine squared of theta. So it's equal to integral for radical 9 minus x squared, so 9 sine squared theta, and dx equal to 3 cosine theta d theta, over x squared, so 9 sine squared theta, so it's equal to, let's look at this one, radical 9 minus 9 sine square theta. So if you take 9 common, so radical 9 times 1 minus sine square, 9 is equal to radical 9 equal to 3, and 1 minus sine square equal to cosine square, so radical cosine square equal to cosine. So integral for 3 cosine theta times 3 cosine theta d theta over 9 sine square theta equal integral for 3 times 3 9 cosine square theta over 9 sine squared theta d theta so 9 drop 9 integral cosine squared over time squared equal to cotangent squared but cotangent squared equal to cosecant squared minus 1 We know the integral of cosecant square and the integral of 1 equal integral for cosecant square equal to minus cotangent theta minus theta plus c. But we need to find the integral in term of x, not theta. So the substitution that we take is x equal to 3 sine theta. So here we have x equal 3 sine theta. So we need to find theta and cotangent theta in term of x. So in this case, sine theta is equal to x over 3. So to find theta, sine inverse both sides, we will get theta equal to sine inverse of x over 3. So this is the first one. And now we need to find cotangent theta. Just look at this right triangle. Suppose that this is theta. If we have sine theta equal to x over 3, and we know that sine is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. So this will be the opposite side, which is x. So this is x. And the hypotenuse is equal to 3 
so this will be 3. But cotangent theta is equal to adjacent side over the hypotenuse. So this will be the adjacent. Using Pythagoras, it's equal to radical 3 squared, so 9, minus x squared over the hypotenuse is 3. So now we find cotangent theta and theta substituted in this equation and it's done. So equal minus cotangent theta, so minus radical 9 minus x squared over 3 minus theta, so minus sine inverse of x over 3 plus c and it's done. Next video we'll take more examples. If you like the video, please hit the like and subscribe button. Goodbye.